Marcus Edmund Coates and recording my debut album for commercial release or distribution rather uh, Pledges, that's the album oh sorry, we're recording at uh, AGS Studios, this is Dave Redhead Dave Redhead, the producer of the album um, AGS Studios at Hackham uh, it's a collection of songs um, that has spanned my life from well, as far back as I can remember um, to now but more importantly since I returned to the music scene which is back about 2012 <clears throat> yeah so this project is uh, a collection of eight songs nine if we get the other one done which we were denied sample clearance for and Munted was just the name that popped into my head um, previously before that I was under a rap pseudonym if you like or another artist name of Horrible Animal and that was a name that was given to me by a producer that introduced me to hip hop. Being Munted Coates is like saying being Munted Smith, Munted whatever your surname is, it's almost like a title given to what the Buddhists would call a sentient being or a being that doesn't quite understand the, the nature of the universe uh, but still knows that there's something more beyond what we immediately know um, and so we move forward. <laughs> okay, so uh, where it's got that thing that rings through, yeah. do you want that chopped short so as the other pit comes straight in? No. Mr. McLaughlin? No. Is there so, a gap between the end of the ring? Yeah. Yeah. Just so just there. bring the ring up to the yeah. where the other one starts. Yeah. Or we can do that for a start and see what it sounds like, I guess. So to maximise his time, yeah, we try and nip that in the butt. That intro, okay, yeah, yeah. While it's here, that'll yeah. take. Not even a matter of cutting out that bit of silence. Oh, just a matter of cutting out that bit of silence. Could you document that down in a ten-point analysis? <laughs> <laughs> Have you got the drums in? No. You don't, have you? no. What happened to them, Somebody used them last night. Them, they took them, they stole them. <laughs> they're in one of the rooms. Right, so they're, but they're well, still your, like the communal drum kit, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I didn't realise you wanted to do No, no, I was just going to say, um, you know, like, it's not a, it's a, you know, okay. that's the thing. It's, you know, that was the effect we were after, which I didn't pull off well enough in that recording. Um, I guess the beginning of the drums again. Yeah. You I, know what I mean? You know, it was a cymbal grab. <laughs> It's a, it's a definitive sound. No, it's just a, you know, it's, that wasn't what I was after. So, um, that I'm not happy with at all. Okay. It's almost like just the drum track slapped on. You know what I mean? Like that's so you're going to bring the drum kit in just for two beats? Or... I don't know if you've got an effect on there that's a symbol grab. Yeah, I've got. Mate, um, whether it will match the other symbol grab. Oh, I can that's probably. Well, it's, uh, it's that first beat. It's meant to be like a. Not a. a like a symbol grab, you yeah. know. You know what I'm talking about, but. Yeah. Um, like Josh said, though, the effect might not match the acoustics. So maybe. Did you do that anywhere else that you know of? Was no, it was because Josh and I maybe. talked about we bring oh, in okay. with a bit of, you know, like the beat and then we do a cymbal grab which kind of brings that the intro to an end and the rest to a start like a yeah. clean straight on the beat you know so right on that kick drum beat you just want yeah. a cymbal grab yeah whereas playing back on the recording it just sounds like I've just gone on the kick drum yeah it's not attached to anything yeah and it throws out for me the song um, what we could do is we'll give it a run live we'll give it a run live if you want and play the whole song yeah. And I'll just go at the points which I think and just let it run. Okay. Yeah, and yeah. We'll, we'll just try that because I know that it's going to be different points. Okay. So we'll just let the whole thing run. Yeah. Did you want to go in there? You can yeah. come in if you want. <laughs> Do 
want earplugs? No, I'm fine. Okay. He has. Got earplugs if you need them. It's not going to be too loud, is it? <laughs> yeah, I'll be fine. You sure? Yeah. Right. No worries, Dave. Never ever goes the way you want it to. You rocked so hard the symbol came off. <laughs> That's the idea. Because then when um, Southern Yokel comes in after on the album, it'll be... It'll be... Oh, okay. To the bass, and... So just let that ring out. So, yeah, perfect, it needs to bring out that the bass note needs to be held so that when you're listening to it, it flows like one long song on the album, yeah. but yet when you download it, there's a separate track. It just, you know, so is that a... Just to listen to see if it's the same or not. Yeah, see, Southern Yoko will come in before that, like a couple of seconds before that. So, so you've still got the resonance of the bass and... Yeah, brilliant. I so think that's a wrap with the bass. What do you reckon? Sounds fine to me. Well, I don't know about fine, but it will certainly do. I, I love the fact that it's not complete. This is one of the things about this project that um, it haunts me. It's like, you know, the problem we have with the dual switching in its reckless spirit, you know. Like, there's always yeah. some curse that comes with it. And it's good because when a vision is never, ever completely the way you predicted it, you know that you're still pushing the artistic boundary. Like, it's pretty much 99% there. But now actually hearing it, it's got something different about it. It has its own life. Yeah. I think that's when you know that you've you've achieved. That's open to interpretation, but I like that. So what do you reckon? Um, now, uh, if that bass is sort of down, do you reckon you could try double double layering the guitar oh, now? Yeah. Yeah. Um, with, a, with a hint of reverb, that yeah. will thicken the wall of sound. Because I like the guitar sound, and I like the rawness of it, and I don't want to take away the rawness of it, but I do want to increase the thickness of yeah. sound within the track. Yeah. So if we could ghost that one, in the same spot and then put a hint of reverb and play that back and see how it sounds. And two, one of the good things too, Luigi, about listening to this, we've got two sets of speakers. Dave, could you explain in that respect how it helps the recording process play that? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I've got these Wharfdales which are more like um, what you might have at home, probably sounds similar to what you might have in, the, in your car. And then I've got the studio monitors which are the Samson ones which have also got a subwoofer. So they give you more detail and much fatter bass, but it's not a realistic sound of what you may listen to at home. So between the two, so record with it, or mix with the Samsons to get all the finer details, and then click to the Wharfdales as a second reference to see what it might sound like at home. So if it sounds good on both speakers, you've got a fair chance that it'll sound good anyway. That's the theory behind it. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely. Because what we're trying to do is obviously accurately recreate this 
to as many people from as many different stations of life, whether they've got a Bose 5.1 Dolby or 7.1 yeah, digital system, or somebody that's just in the car on the way to a delivery at work listening to an old AM radio, if the track comes through, they can still hear that message. So that's important from the production point of view that we get it right. You know? Can I ask a question? Please do. Uh, what's the deal with the toilet flushes? Oh, um, yeah, interesting point. Um, <laughs> when I was doing the demo for Clockwork, um, like I recorded on a like a video camera, handy cam, which I've got actually in the bag, which I haven't got out yet. But yeah, as for the um, the toilet effect, it was almost like it wasn't really much thought into. It, it was just I thought that sounded good, and I felt a bit. Um, irreverent at the time so I just thought I'd put that in and the laughter in respect of the jokes on us because time I believe is a man made quantity to govern ourselves and a means by which we use to govern our surroundings and the world of which we perceive and so much of our lives depend on time like just about everybody so that has a conscious mind so yeah in answer to your question directly um, it was a more irreverent light-hearted look um, a way of parodying the um, the concept and it sounds like a good effect to use so that's why I did I didn't give it that much thought but definitely to parody I want people to get that but time I think is a, is almost a sick parody of human governance and that's why that comes in so yeah and now I'm also thinking too maybe we could also bring in um, after the first bar or whatever like the first couple of bars maybe a bit of not synth but something like synth like maybe just like an effect on the keyboard or something like you know like the string maybe that could could sort of intertwine just like uh, yeah something like that just like just just a little a salt seasoner just to to season it up a bit yeah yeah I'm thinking of maybe yeah instead of bringing in just the the like the yeah just something eerie like that to sort of tie it together but I guess it has to be in key or tune. What's happening? What's going on? Oh, I've got a, some horrible static type noise in there. We overloaded the system. So uh, those other speakers won't handle the highs. That's what it is. I'll just switch to there. So what do you need to do in order to... Oh, no, it? nothing really. Oh, right. it, it, it's just ignore it because it's not actually in the recording. Oh, it's not in the recording. Yeah. yeah. Oh. There's an occasional pop there, but I don't think that's... When it's switch speakers, it's clean as. So you wanted to do the cello? Yeah, and I'll bring that in. Yeah, I can imagine I'll uh, put that on a separate track, obviously. Yep. Um, yeah, try, try low there. Yeah. 
That's all right. That's why God invented masking tape. Is that right? No worries. Like in uh, Saving Private Ryan, when you know he goes toward the end, he finds Ryan. Well, that's the vocal tape. We find Ryan in the vocal tape. It's it's an epic journey to get there. Um, <laughs> Brilliant, I love it. Exactly the effect I was after. You get that bass resonate, resonating. Even you get to bring that bass resonating up a bit if you want. But that's brilliant. That, that, don't you reckon? That just melted yeah. right at the end, the cello. Yeah. yeah. You can't get a better tape than that. It's right on as well. There's no in before or too late, it was just right when it needed to be. I keep thinking, you know the Melting Clocks by Salvador Dali, you know that painting? Yes. Yeah. That's what I think of when I hear this now. Oh, okay. It's coming, you know, like it's, it has to be a certain warped vision because we're talking about time here. You know? And the deeper the wormhole you go, the more strange things get. So I reckon, um, without a doubt, apart from the stopwatch coming in somewhere towards the end, um, it's next up is vocals. Um, uh bit concerned about that cracking. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Um, Would you like to do that, just the last half of that take again? Um, not really, but yeah, if I have to, I will. I was pretty happy with that take. Yeah. But um, geez, otherwise, really I'll have a play around and see if I can get rid of it. Being so the crack when being, being in MIDI, yep. it shouldn't be there. Right. Because uh, MIDI work, but they have. We, I mean, so if you play the file on its own, though, is it there? There. Really? Well, it, it didn't seem to be before, actually. All right. Because uh, yeah, it was. Yeah, it was in this area here. And this is through the other speakers. This is through the good ones. <laughs> What about the, the cello track? See if play that on its own. Has that got any crack on it? Oh, I didn't notice any at the time. Well, no. See, people think we see all that from the record or something. channels on that thing playing up, yeah. which I'm not going to change them over. No, no, no. But uh, I have had it, had it before, now that I think of it. It's right. actually static in the output channels. Okay. I changed channels on that. Well, we can do... It's fine. So, it's now so one, I'm, I'm quite sure it's not in the recording. No worries, though. Well, it's now 142, so maybe we should rip into some vocals yeah. and try and get like one or two takes down, even if they're not the final take, just to give you a guide for the next time. Trying to work out a particular sonnet or an audio progression on a different instrument is very different, difficult, 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 difficult to say. Um, I don't play the keyboard, but it's like, how do you play a C from a guitar on a piano or piano to a guitar to a mandolin to a whatever violin? I don't actually read music, so it's very difficult for me um, to see written music. I did do the percussion scholarship so I can read drum music to an extent, but I can't actually read chord tablature and I can't read piano uh, keys or anything like that. So yeah, it was very intense to try and by ear listen to the sound. And if I match it up with the sound that's on the keyboard and it sounds right to me, then I know it's right. I can't just go into a group of session musicians and go, hey guys, I've got this song, it goes for 10 bars, four beats to the bar and it's in the key of C minor, and it has D, C, F and G, and B flat as the main chords. Away we go, and then, you know, 
they all tune up and away they go, no, it doesn't work like that. I walk into a group of musicians and I go, have you heard my song? They're going to accompany me, i.e. like on a live tour if this album gets successful enough. And then they actually have to listen to the to the song and work out the tuning for themselves. And if they can't get it, then maybe I might have to tune their instruments. The, doing it that way is normally quite easy for me, but in this occasion, trying to work out that effect to go, I found it hard to visualise what I was hearing on the keyboard. So, yeah. That's better. I can hear a, a level of... Yeah, yeah. Cool bananas, that's better Dave. Now, I think the track's going to probably be better now. Yeah, because I've got it pretty loud on the phones. I might bring it down and then bring yeah, it up bring again. It down, otherwise, yeah, otherwise yeah. you might blow my head off. Yeah. And then I won't be able to hear anything. Slowly, slowly, quietly, a bit louder. End of the chapter, the one you so distaste. Perceptional rush, proverbial waste. Are you in for the ride? Are you worth emancipating? Now free your small mind from the scores that you're grading. A polished performance whilst fair evading. You're bungling in the jungle while the mongrels escapading. Stuck like a fool, whirlpool, cyclicity, obsessive paralleled only by eccentricity. Thoughts flooding in, the brothers grin. The sisters sin, an unrivaled win. My time near to free, separating obscenity, stepping up to the plate, etching art on history. My destiny dictate late, lest leave a legacy, decipher the poetical viper. In memory, a million theories on the origins of life still divide you so recite, for the word won't bite. And the grail half chilled, spilled eternally unfilled, chasing your tail, never finish, never fail. Yeah, I'm very happy. As usual, um, Dave's given up generously uh, most of the time he has today. And, yeah, so all really we need to do is chorus vocals, uh, chuck a stopwatch in at the end. And, look, I think we're about 85% done on this track. Um, and I think that's real progress. So, yeah, I'm pretty happy. What you recorded today? Yeah, I'm very happy. As usual, um, Dave's given up generously uh, most of the time he has today. And... Yeah, so all really we need to do is chorus vocals, uh, chuck a stopwatch in at the end, and look, I think we're about 85% done on this track, um, and I think that's real progress, so yeah, I'm pretty happy. And Dave, you happy? Yes. Wow. And Dave, you happy? Yes. Wow.